Stone Arch Bridge is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Minneapolis. It's a popular spot for walkers and bicyclists. A passenger vehicle recently spotted right on top of that bridge. And Fox 9's Bab Santos joining us now. So, Babs, what is the Minneapolis Park and Rec Board saying about this? Does this happen from time to time? Uh, as far as I can tell, is talking with them today, this is the first they've heard of it. Here at the Stone Arch Bridge, there are signs saying that only park and Regular vehicles are allowed, but earlier today, video showed a regular car coming right on through. It was very concerning to see the tweet and to see the video. Minneapolis Parks and Rec spokesperson Don Somers is talking about video capturing a car taking a detour over the Stone Arch Bridge. I have no idea what would prompt somebody to, <laughs> to drive on the Stone Arch Bridge. It's surprising to me and alarming. The normally packed bridge was empty because it was raining at the time, so no one was hurt. I think it's uh, kind of scary if they're driving fast. It's a scary thing when it, it looks like it's clearly marked that, you know, no vehicular traffic should be coming across. So um, it, it is alarming. And there's, no, there's really no place to go. The video generated lots of buzz online, with one user writing, sounds like a good case for installing retractable ballers. I can certainly share that with our operations staff. We have signs out there stating that. The reason there aren't bollards or blockages is because um, we do need to get emergency vehicles on site on occasion and or maintenance. Minneapolis Parks and Rec spoke with park police and maintenance crews to make sure that signs remain on both ends of the bridge, making it clear that regular cars are not allowed. In Minneapolis, Bab Santos, Fox 9.